right, so it's time to drain your hot tub and fill it back up. What do we do? What I like to do is right before I get ready to drain it is I'll, I'll pour once a year. I'll use swirl away and I'll throw that in the water, turn the pumps on high for about 10 minutes. What this does is it gets in all the plumbing parts you don't see down in there and it releases the biofilms, just cleans them out. So I'll, once a year I'll do this. After that then I shut the power off and I go to the GFCI disconnect box to do that. I hit the breaker, shut the breaker off. Alright, so now it's time to drain the water. Two things to remember. Don't drain it in direct sunlight. More than likely, you're going to have that cover open all the way. You don't want direct sunlight hitting the acrylic on the inside for any length of time. What will happen is, it's going to get hot in there and that acrylic's going to blister. and You'll have a bubble and you'll hate yourself. Do it early in the morning or late in the evening you know when the sun's setting and you got shadows on it so remember that and also a freeze if you live up in the mountains you know don't say you know what today I'm gonna drain it and then tomorrow I'll clean it and fill it up keep in mind you get a hard freeze there's still water down in the plumbing that you don't see that has the chance of freezing and cracking the pipes the wet end of the pump so that's bad don't do that so remember those two Alright, so it's time to drain the water out. I'm going to walk over to the tripod and bring the camera down to the floor here and we'll look at where the drain is. So I'm going to grab this, make a little shaking, make a little noise. Get it off here. Yeah, Alright, so here's the front of our spa. And there's where the drain is, on the bottom right corner there that little black thing on the toe kick. The white label is where the serial number is. So there's a chance I may ask you, hey, can you give me the serial number? That's where you'll find it, likely. All right, there's our drain. And here's the tip of the day right here. I used to grab this, and, uh, try and turn that and take that cap off. Um, <laughs> finally, finally someone got smart and told me, um, just grab it and, and pull it out. <laughs> So now that it's out, you just grab it and take that cap off. There, cap's off. And be careful, there's an O-ring in there. Don't let that fall out and it's because it's going to get swept away. And when you put the cap back on, you'll always have a little leak. So make sure that little O-ring's in there when you put the cap back on. All right, so this is out all the way. And you're not getting any water. It's made like that because... Now, you're going you're gonna to attach your garden hose to it. You're going to take it out and water your lawn, garden, trees. Once the end of it's out where you want it, you push this in halfway and it'll stop. Boom. Now it's starting to drain. So that's when it starts draining. So then, while it's draining, I get up there and I do all the cleaning, but we're going to fast forward a couple hours. Uh, assume it's completely clean inside. We're going to come down here, we're going to take off our garden hose, roll it up, put the cap back on, tight, push all that back in, and we're done. So I'm going to come back up top here and uh, mount this back on the tripod. You want to see my showroom real quick? Looks nice, huh? <laughs> Alright. You've probably seen it before. Alright, so we're mounting it on the tripod. We're done. Alright, I'm coming back. Drain the water. Now you're going to get all but about that much water out of the bottom down in there. How you get that out, you can use a wet dry vac, a mop. I jump in with a little cup with a bucket. And I fill up my bucket and then dump it. Um, so as it's, as it's draining, now's a great time to clean the filters. Before we probably took filters out, hosed them off, put them back in. Uh-uh. Now is the time you really want to clean these. You want to invest in a good filter cleaner. Get down, break down all those oils and lotions and all that gunk. Get it off the filter. Brings your filters right back to life. Take the jetpacks out. As the water level gets 
Take it out now. Take out your jet packs. Set them down in the lawn area and just hose them off with your thumb down inside there where the jets are, the back side, and then put them back in. So tubs draining, what else are we going to clean? How about the outsides here? You clean these outsides, it's going to look brand new like the day we delivered it for you. So I like to use a 303 protectant for that. Best stuff out there for it. All right, um, tub's still draining. You know what, let's clean the cover real quick. Well, actually, before that, let's clean the inside of the spa. What are we going to do? I don't get down in all the little nooks and crannies. It's just me. I don't do that. But I will take a magic eraser, Mr. Clean, and I'll, and I'll kind of buff the waterline area, kind of bring that right back. If, if you have water marks, you know, from hard water, there's a gloss that works really good. Put a little bit on a, on a soft terry cloth rag and just kind of walk around and, and get those water marks off. I mean, by now your spa is looking like the day it was delivered. It looks pretty. Alright, outside's clean, inside's clean, water's drained all the way. Time to clean the cover. I'm going to go walk around the side and open this up. The underside here, I don't, I don't clean it. I just, I just let that go. I don't do too much to it. Nothing at all. Now the outside. Get a rag, you know, a bucket of water, and just get off all that heavy, ugly dust that's been collecting over the months. And then once it, once it dries, Get, another, get a rag with this 303 protectant. This is the best stuff. Spray it on there. You don't need a whole lot. It goes a long way. And you'll see it just get right in there. It brings it right back to life. I mean, by now, your spa is, it looks brand new again. You're, you're kind of, you know, yeah, I'm doing this. All right, so your spa is clean. So now what? Now, now you're ready to fill it back up. So you put the hose in. You're starting to fill it up. You know where the watermark is on the filter area there, that little indicator. So, okay, water's getting close. Now you go over to your GFCI breaker, you reset the breaker back on, you're powering it up. Think of this. Make sure you put the spa back in ready mode on, on the mode. You know, I've got a video out there telling you rest mode, ready mode. You may have had it in rest mode, hit the breaker to shut it off to drain it, you're powering it back up, it's still in rest mode. And keep in mind, it's only heating during the filter cycles. If it's in rest mode with fresh water, 60 degrees, it's going to take four or five days for it to heat up. So go, come over here in the mode section and put it in ready mode. So it's going to heat up in about eight hours. Now, obviously, a couple days from now, you can go back and put it back in your rest mode. But important step here. And then, you know, once the water's up at 80 degrees, you're going to establish it. We know how to do that. Alkalinity, calcium, chlorine, pH. Um, and then there's our rest mode. So if, if you'd like, you know, a couple days later, put it back in your rest mode. So not too bad. Pretty simple. And, and your spa's looking like the day it got delivered.